Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. This is part of our CO2 summer series when we're highlighting CO2s. Today, we're going to take the mystery out of the Uzi BB carbine. Yes, the Uzi BB carbine. This is a 4.5 millimeter or 0.177 caliber steel BB gun. It's CO2 powered. Before we get started here, quick message, YouTube. This is not a firearm, this is an air gun. In fact, it's just a little BB gun. We do not review firearms on this channel, only air guns. Okay, besides that, if you guys haven't subscribed, do me a favor, hit the little subscribe button down there. Doesn't cost you a thing. Really helpful to the channel though, really helpful. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.airgundetectives.com. That's where we got some hats and shirts and uh, and a few other things there. I, I occasionally put some of my inventory up on that website. Got to thin it out. It's increasing in size and I'm running out of storage simply. All right, so let's get back to the Uzi here, the IWI Uzi. This is a replica version of the actual Uzi. And before we get rolling on this, I got to tell you, this was one of my mother, the late little Sally. She was our little intro star. Um, Check it out. This was one of her favorites. Stay tuned for air gun detectives. Anyway, so let's do a thorough review on this thing. This is an awesome little replica. It's CO2 propel propelled, and that would be in the magazine here, typical. You just unscrew the bottom, drop your CO2 cartridge in there, spring loaded, reload your BBs through the top, and this actually holds 25. The gun itself is all metal. It's got a look, nice little fold-out stock, so you have it carbine style this way. The only plastic on it is you have your a ABS, is your front foregrip, and the grip back here. The rest of it is all metal. This has fully adjustable. This has fully adjustable peep sights, front and the rear, completely adjustable stocks. This is a blowback. It's got a heavy blowback. You can see when this goes forward, very heavy blowback. The gun itself weighs about five pounds, so it feels very solid. But the fact that it's being a carbine, you can either shoot it like a pistol or you can swing it out, swing it out and shoot it like a carbine and rest it in your shoulder. They're claiming this gets uh, around 360 feet per second. The gun itself is with the folded is 14 inches. It also has a double safety. So you have your selector switch here because this is both semi-automatic and fully automatic. So you have your safe position, you then have your semi-automatic position, and then your full auto position. But in addition to that, you have a grip safety back here. So you actually have to be squeezing the grip in the back and have this off of safe in order to fire it. So it's got quite the little setup. This has a very heavy blowback to it because this is weighted. This is very heavy. In fact, when you watch that slide go forward, it's, it's a good chunk of metal that's going forward. So you actually feel it, that's for sure. Don't be haters out there in the CO2 world. These are designed for one thing specific, fun. That means plinking and having a good time. Because who can own a real fully automatic Uzi? Very limited and not to mention how expensive. But this is something that everybody can own and they can put it in their backyard and have a great time with it. Let's see how it performs and uh, we'll come back and talk about it. But this looks like it's going to be a fun little gun. All right, stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test the velocity on our Uzi here, see how well it does. We'll just shoot five shots over the crony, see how well it does. It's not an overly hot day, it's not a cool day. It's a perfect day for our CO2 summer series, that's for sure. Let's see, shot number one. 324. Shot number two, 321. Shot number three, 318. Shot number four, 324. And we'll do one more. Shot number five, 322. So that's what you got. There's your average feet per second, five shots. It's like anything else, these CO2s. They cool down as you shoot them. 
But that's your average, and let's move on to the next segment. All right, we're going to test our Uzi for a little accuracy here. And we're going to go ahead and shoot the 5.1 Umarex Zinc BBs. I like the Zinc. I've mentioned this before. They don't rust when they land in my pool. Well, at least they give me time to get them out. Anyway, before they do. And uh, they also don't gum up your gun as much. We're going to use the splatter burst targets. These are their 6-inch tar or 8-inch targets, I guess, the 8-inch adhesives. Because we're going to be our usual 10 meters, 30 feet back. That's what's good for the, the BB guns, CO2 guns. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll go ahead and see how well we group. So we'll take a little Uzi here. I'm going to shoot it carbine style. So let's see how well we can do. All right. Remember, we're just going for grouping. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad at all. If you think about it, this thing has a pretty short barrel on it. But that's a heck of a group. All right, let's move on to our next segment. All right, we got our easy here. We're going to do a quick trigger test on it. We'll see what type of pull weight we have. Make sure we get the safety closed on the back edge here. Got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge. Let's see how well we do. Uh, not bad. That's uh, two pounds, 1.4 ounces. Two pounds, 1.4 ounces. Yeah, pretty cool trigger on this thing, that's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Guys, my favorite part of any review, the plinking, of course. We've got an Uzi here. We're not gonna plink in semi-automatic. We're gonna plink in fully auto, so we want this selector switch pushed all the way to the front. Yeah, as you can see here, we've got a few cans set up, quite a few. Let's see if we can knock them down. So I got 25 rounds in one magazine. Let's see how we do this. I love this stuff. All right. Wow. That's crazy. What do we have? About two shots left there? This, uh, the recoil on this stuff is just, it's amazing how um how this does but you know what's better than having one magazine is having two magazines make sure this is uh, also a little hint here make sure when you put this in that this thing latches it's latched in there because you do want that latched up in there pretty good and got your little bolt all right let's see if we can finish the bottom row now See that? A little bit of a flaw. Magazine just popped right out of it. Actually, what I think it is, I'm shooting this left-handed, and my hand's touching the magazine release. So let's go to right-handed and see how we do here. Okay. Yeah, see that? Yeah, my left hand, shooting a left hand, you gotta watch out for that. You push that magazine release. So let's see if we can go this direction. I'd say so. I'd say that did pretty well. Anyway, so there's your Uzi. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Well, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. So how did our Uzi do? All I have to say is, wow. Think about this. This is fun, fun, fun. I mean, this was roughly about 150 bucks when I bought it. And for you to own a fully automatic, full metal, realistic fill-in machine gun, for that price, you just can't beat it. So. The other exciting thing about it is when you have something like this, when you have friends or family that come over and they haven't really shot many BB guns, it's always great to pull out the fully automatic, set them up with something to shoot and to watch the look on their face. In fact, I might have to, I might have to <laughs> take some pictures of some of these people or video them for some intros. It would be pretty good. So, what are the negatives on this? I wish you'd get more of a shot count out of the CO2s, but at the same time, this has a really heavy blowback. And that blowback takes a lot of air to push that. And this bolt is heavy. And you feel it. When you're shooting it, you actually feel it. It feels very realistic. So, what do you get? You get about, 
If you do full auto, you'll get two magazines. If you do semi-automatic the whole time, you'll get 65 to 70 shots. So you figure you get 50 shots on fully auto and you get 65 to 70 shots, but that's on one CO2. Then the good thing is, as you saw, I have a spare magazine. So you load those up and you, if you let that kind of warm up in between the shots, you trade off magazines, you know, you'll get the maximum out of it. So some of the positives, I mean, think about it. It's fully auto. That's your number one positive. It's a fully auto machine gun that you can own and shoot in your backyard. The fit, the feel, fantastic. It really is. The fact that it's got the little um, stock attached to it and you can swing it out, make it a carbine, that's awesome. And then how did it perform? Well, we shot in the lower to the mid threes, which it's right on par. Um, accuracy. Remember, I've told you guys before, if you have any CO2 BB pistol that can shoot under a one inch group at 30 feet, it's a winner. And this one shot well under that. It shot a really good group, in fact. Uh, the trigger's awesome on it. It's around a two pound trigger. And again, I'm going to emphasize that it's got good recoil. It's got a good realistic feeling blowback on it. You really actually can feel it. And let's talk about it. the biggest positive is how cool it is. I mean, the cool factor, this thing is off the chart. It really is. And then you can accessorize it. You can throw a little, it's got a couple eyelets on it. You can throw a strap on it, which I did. The other good thing is the magazines in these, um, they contain the valve itself. So the actual CO2 valve is in the magazine and they're actually really heavy. But the good thing is, so you have a bad valve, you don't have to get rid of the gun, you just get another magazine, which is really, really cool. That works out that good. So, that, you know, that's, that's a good thing that the valve's in there. So how would I rate this? Are you kidding me? How many fully automatic, full metal Uzis are out there that you can shoot in your backyard that's CO2 uh, propelled? None. This is about it. This is really good. Numerex puts this out. They at least uh, license it. Back to the rating. Five stars. This is a five star without a doubt. And I just hope um, they come back into production because I've been looking online. I really haven't seen any out there, but I mean, you guys would love this gun. I'm telling you, it's terrific. Well, hey, thanks again for tuning in for our CO2 Summer Series. I've got Quite a few more planned. And don't forget, this is the place where we take the mystery out of the air gun. God bless. Stay safe, and I hope you get a lot of shooting in.